The European Commission has appointed a new anti-Muslim hatred chief. Qatar Airways and Airbus have finally settled their dispute. Meanwhile, Qatar has been ranked as the second least corrupt Arab country. And finally, the FIFA Club World Cup kicked off in Morocco on Wednesday evening with a one-sided opening contest. Hi, it's Ali. This is The Roundup. Here are today's top stories. Following a rise in Islamophobia around Europe, the European Commission has appointed Marion Lalice as its new coordinator on combating anti-Muslim hatred. This comes on the back of far-right leaders burning and tearing separate copies of the Holy Quran in different countries across Europe last month. The incidents have caused outrage among the Muslim world, with authorities in Qatar pointing out the clear double standards of freedom of speech in Europe. After a long, drawn-out legal battle, Qatar Airways and Airbus finally settled their dispute on Wednesday. The Gulf state's carrier released a statement saying that the two parties have reached an amicable and mutual agreement to end the battle. The two aviation giants were locked in an intense $2 billion legal fight about surface damage to A350s. However, it appears the jets are now set to be repaired and will soon be back in the air. Details of the settlement remain confidential. Now, a top index says Qatar is second in the region in combating corruption. Transparency International's Corruption Perception Index shows Qatar scored 58 out of 100, with the UAE finishing first, scoring 6 67. The lowest scores on the list were Syria, Yemen and Libya, all Arab nations which have been stuck in instability since 2011. And finally, the 2022 edition of the FIFA Club World Cup kicked off in Morocco on Wednesday evening with a thrashing on show. CAF Champions League winners up El Ahli took apart OFC Champions League winners Auckland City with a 3-0 route in Tangier. Coming up on Saturday, El Ahli will head into their next match, a clash with CONCACAF winners Seattle Sounders, while African champions and tournament hosts Widat Casablanca will take on AFC champions El Hilal. Thank you for joining us. For more of our stories, head over to our website www.dohanews.co. Have a great day.